Hi, and welcome to day one of your five-day fertility challenge. I'm, of course, your host, Dr. Elizabeth Sherevati, and today I am inviting you into my real-life kitchen to show you a little bit about today's challenge and why it's so important for you and will be valuable for you. So if you have read your email for today's challenge, you will know that we are talking about the most feared nutrient of all time and one that we have been conditioned in one way or another universally across the board, especially for, for women, is around fertility friendly fats. And so today we're going to talk about the kind of fats and how I easily integrate them into my daily diet every single day and to give you some ideas on how you can do it. And I would love for you to participate in this challenge and step into it by exploring which fertility friendly fat you would like to have in your diet and then share that on your group. So what are you going to put into your food today? that enhances the fertility friendliness of your food through adding some luscious, beautiful fats. So as we talk about in the email, having enough fat in your diet is like talking to your DNA and telling it that it is a safe, nourished time for your tribe, your family, and your body i.e. an ideal and safe time for you to become pregnant and bring a newborn baby into the world. Without enough fat, you can signal your body into a stress state, similar to how our ancestors would have experienced famine or being nomadic or being in war. And those are not times when the female body wants to say, hey, now I'm ready to get pregnant. So we want to program your design, the design that you have been given, the design that we got all got here with through our own ancestry and through women and men being able to procreate down through the ages. We want to talk to our genes the way that is going to encourage them to, to express in a way that is optimal for fertility, hormone balance, and feeling really receptive to that pregnancy. Studies have shown that low-fat diets do not contribute to fertility. In fact, the Nurses' Health Study, which was a large study of professional women, all nurses, there were 200,000 women in the study, and a subset of that study looked at ovulation problems and infertility. And one of the major findings was that having a profile around low-fat, especially in, that, in this case they looked at low-fat dairy, was associated with anovulatory infertility, meaning lack of ovulation, which is the last thing we want for you to boost your fertility. So today I wanna to show you how I easily incorporate fats into your diet, and I want you to be inspired to go ahead and try some of these yourself if you're not already doing so. And then when you've done that, take a picture, post a recipe, or share in the group what uh, your fertility friendly fat of choice has been for today. So let's jump in. One of the things that I do pretty much every single day is prepare a fertility friendly smoothie. So not only does that contain fruit, sometimes greens, a non-dairy milk, and a protein powder, it always includes fertility friendly fats. And uh, here's what I actually will put in. Sometimes I put in MCT oil. You can see that's a liquid. Okay, it's in a brown glass bottle, which means it's shaded from oxidation. We want to be protective of our fats and oils. And MCT oil is from coconut oil, but it stays liquid at room temperature. And MCT oil is a wonderful fuel for the brain, for the friendly bacteria in the gut. And what I love about that is that it gives me energy, it gives me satiety, but I also know that it's helping my overall gut flora to be healthier. What does that do for fertility? Well, fertility has an immune factor. In fact, there is proven to be specific immune activities at the level of ovulation and even within the womb, within the uterus. And the bacteria that live in our gut are 
programming our immune system function all the time. So having a healthy flora is one good way to globally help your fertility. The next kind of fat that I always put into my smoothies will be some sort of nut or seed butter. Oh, let me just see what I have here, show you. Yeah, so I have um, almond hazelnut in this case, which is one of my favorites. And let's see what else we have here. I have got cashew butter. I also keep my seeds in my cabinet. So these are hemp hearts, rich in omega-3s, I have sesame seeds, I have flax seeds. So depending on the day of my cycle or um, what I feel like, I will incorporate these in to mine and my husband's smoothies. I also use oils for cooking generously. So this is a refined coconut oil and it's one of the only oils that being refined is okay because it just means that the coconutty nature uh, the, the protein and the fiber have been removed and so it doesn't taste really like coconut at all. So it makes a much more neutral flavor for cooking. Whereas you can also cook with virgin coconut oil, which does taste like a coconut if you like that in your food. Go ahead now and share with the group which fertility friendly fat you are most excited about having today. You'll see a list of suggestions in the email that I have sent you and I will look forward to connecting with you on tomorrow's challenge.